What's up guys, welcome back to Diving Garage. Today we're gonna to find out how much does Boost actually cost, in this case, for a supercharger. So crack open your kids' piggy banks, empty out their college funds, let's dive in. All right y'all, so in the last video we talked about all the different parts and pieces and different options and different things you could do. But in this video, we're talking numbers. And I wanna say something right up front. This, I'm calling this a budget build. Now why? To me, the budget build can mean one of two things. It can either be a concept to where you try to save money as you go and build it as frugally as possible, or it can be a hard set budget. Example, I have $10,000 to build X engine for X horsepower, right? But in this case, I just took it as a concept, trying to get the best value for your dollar on all the pieces here. So what we're gonna be doing, since we're doing this budget supercharger build, is we're gonna be comparing it to a probably the cheapest kit you can get. It's from Speedmaster. And that kit right now, and this is August, what, 21st, 2024, uh, that kit is $4,705. And that doesn't come anything above here, above my arm or in the back. So just remember that as we're going along. All right, first up, let's do the uh, two rib or two V accessory drive. That's how their market is, a two V or a one V for a single. In this case, I went with a two, two V accessory drive. $85. And then next up, you got your pulleys. Let me stop here for a second. There's nothing wrong with getting used pulleys um, from whatever brand because it's just aluminum. Uh, and these, these here are just billet aluminum. So if you start getting caught up on the brand and this and that, you're going to kind of lose yourself and get lost in the sauce. Uh, but this one is a Speedmaster unit and it was $80. I got this water pump on the Amazon. It's a Gates unit with a dual pattern hub for 60 bucks. And then I got the water pump pulley also on the Amazon for 45 bucks. And then the belt, this is the magic that makes it all happen, right? I got this from Good Vibrations. Now let me, I'm not a sponsor, but let me give them a shout out real quick. Their website is phenomenal. There's a bunch of websites out there with uh, blower, supercharger parts, but I really liked them. And not only that, um, I liked how you could select the speed of shipping you want, and they were fast. All right, top pulley from the Speedmaster, 80 bucks. All right, so this um, idler arm, or idler bracket, whatever you want to call it, I got that from Good Vibrations for 120. And real quick note on these for any brand you get, um, typically they do not come with the idler or the standoff or the bolt. It's just this piece right here and that's it. So uh, when you get this, make sure you plan on buying these other things. And also go ahead and run a tap through here. Um, this one, I did like it, but the bolt was a little tight for my taste. So I ran a tap through, that cleaned it right up, no issue at all. And then the idler pulley itself, I also got that from the Good Vibrations, 120. And the bolt, I think, was 10. Uh, I honestly regret getting that because I went down to Ace and found that same bolt for like, I think like $4. So it not, in the end, $6 ain't killing you, especially with the numbers we're talking about here. But uh, just something to note. All right, and the snout, like I talked about in my last video, make sure you pick the right one with the right cutoff and the right everything else and the uh, spacing you need. I got that one actually on eBay. I got it from a dude uh, who had quite a few for sale. That was three hondos. And then the little spacer behind it, $20. All right, and the water neck, I wanna say this is a 15 degree and you can rotate it if you loosen up the little uh, bolts there. Rotate it however you want. I got that from the Speedmaster for 20 bucks. And then the intake kind of buried down in here. One more time from the Speedmaster for four Hondos. And one more time, like I said in my last video, don't get caught up on the brand. Go with what you can actually acquire. Don't get scammed on Facebook. Get what you can get, guys. If you got an opinion about Speedmaster, leave it in the comments. All right, so the actual blower. This, I got such a deal on, it made me change my mind from going from a turbo kit to a supercharger. And honestly, I think even at this point, we could have built two turbo kits, two budget turbo kits. So if you're trying to get the cheapest boost you can get, supercharger is not it, guys. Uh, this is just something, this is like a dream of mine to build one of these. And you know, you just, you can't beat that look. A big old blower sticking out of your hood. When you roll up to the car show, you're the boss. All the turbo guys are wishing they were you. All right, so I got this from a dude on eBay. Uh, actually, <laughs> I ended up, we exchanged, exchanged contact information. I was able to call him and talk to him for a while. Uh, this is a um, converted diesel blower, and uh, he did all the rework himself, 
and um, got it all clearance for gas. Obviously refurbished it, made it ready to go. And it's, it, it is, it, there's upgrades everywhere. I mean, you can look back here, you can tell that the time and care was put into this. And not only that, this, the guy I got it from, he said, oh yeah, I got this 671, you know, she's, I built it a while ago, sitting there. I got a 1071 on my boat. Actually, I have two 1071s on my boat, so I really don't need this thing. So that's fine with me. I'll take it. Uh, again, this thing is a piece that made me change my whole mind. This was $1,600. I know, I know, that's a lot. I think we're building three turbo kits now, budget turbo kits. Again, this, this is, for me, if you're going to do boost, this is my preference. And then the twin four bell adapter plate, you can see right here, that was $140 from the Speedmaster. At this point, if you add all the numbers up that I've, that I've said so far, we're at $3,140. Oh, we haven't even got to the expensive stuff yet. All right, so right now we're at $3,140. Remember that Speedmaster kit I mentioned? It's $4,705. So we're beating them by roughly $1,600 at this point. So we're winning. Um, so now we're going to go with the Holly Super Sniper 2x4. And once again, I got a killer deal on this. I think it was on clearance, and I think it was because they're getting roll, you know, we're getting ready to roll out with the Super Sniper 2. Uh, and that one has like the Bluetooth and all that. You can tune it from your phone, yada, yada, yada. I don't really care about any of that. Um, but anyway, it was on clearance, and I got the last one Holly had ever. So there was uh, this gold one left, and that was it. So I called them up on the phone. I said, take all my money now, and it came in the mail. That easy. But that was a whopping $1,785. Oh. <laughs> oh, and they get you on the linkage, too. 70 bucks. Okay, I don't have it on here right now, uh, but the HyperSpark kit um, for really any small block or big block, uh, that was $850. And I think that was the HyperSpark 1. Again, they're going to roll out with the 2, but I'll take it. I got that one also for clearance, on clearance, so I'll take it. And last up, we got the scoop. Uh, this is a generic scoop. There are plenty of other nice ones I could have went with. I'm actually going to be changing these throttle bodies out and this shaft too. I'm glad because I bent it, but uh, it's okay. Anyway, uh, I'm going to give this a paint job. I got this on the eBay for $120. It's got a little few dings and dents, and you know, I've added a few since I've gotten it on accident. It's just sitting in there, so that just comes right out. Anytime I go to move the engine, that flies out of there. <laughs> okay, so where are we at now? So if you add up all of this, oh, and the valve covers are 20 bucks, got on the marketplace. If you add up all of this and all of this, we're at five thousand nine hundred and sixty five dollars now i know that's a lot but remember i got this blower i think last november so i've been building all of this for what are we at nine ten months now yeah so it's <laughs> it's taken me a while but that this is the way you can do it you know this is not this is something i think anybody could attain uh, if you just take your time, buy stuff as you can, and um, just catch deals. That's really been the thing I've been doing. Like A lot of the stuff has been on sale when I catch it. I don't know if I really paid full price for anything. Maybe the stuff from Amazon, that's about it. Okay, so we talked about the Speedmaster kit that only comes with this stuff. Um, that Remember, one more time, that was $4,705. And the reason, too, that I went with a Super Sniper uh, 2x4 setup because I looked at draw through carbs and I, again, after you do the math to figure out how much CFM you're gonna need, one of those car draw through carburetors ready to go to drop in is $1,100. So I got these two for $1,785. So you need two, so now we're at $2,200 for the carburetors. So in the end, I'm still winning. And now you need to upgrade your um, spark in your ignition system and at a bare minimum, that's going to be a grand. Minimum. Honestly, you could probably spend more. You could probably spend two grand. Easy. Um, so if you add up the uh, cheapest Speedmaster kit, plus your fueling, plus your spark, you're at $7,805. Remember, our total was $5,965. So we're almost winning by two grand. So to me, that's how you get boosts on a budget. Is you just take your time. 
you cash the deals and you build it slowly over time as you can. You know, there was a there was one person who caught me in the last video. I only mentioned the price on one thing, which was the intake. And I did brand it as a budget blower build because it is, you know, I've spent a long time looking for deals and I was just, again, with that concept of getting the most for your dollar, right? Because in today's economy, I mean, you got to, that's, all. that's why it took me so long. Uh, maybe three, four years ago, I could have got this whole thing done for probably like four grand, but that's the past. Today's today. That's it guys. I mean, it's not cheap but it's going to be a ton of fun. Now, what's the plan for install? Um, so there's a couple things I've already done and we're in the middle of right now. Um, so to run all of this, got to change the fuel pump. Right now, I got a Holly Blue in there and I can only do 15 PSI. These suckers need 60 plus a pound for a, a pound of fuel for every pound of boost. So I'm just going to guess 10. And so that's 70 PSI. Uh, so I got a new Holly pump installed in Hank right now. That thing's working great. And then um, the alternator needs to be moved from the passenger side to the driver side. Uh, that's a little bit a can of worms I was discussing in the, in the members video I just did. Um, but that's getting figured out right now too. So there's a bunch of like different things, other systems you got to work on just to run this beast. Right now on Hank, he has a stock style 63 amp alternator. And I think at this point with that new fuel pump, it's about tapped out. Because when it's really pumping, I start losing pressure and the lights start dimming. You know, it's not, <laughs> not a good show. So I got a new alternator coming, new setup, uh, and that's all going to be taken care of. So that's something you got to consider when you're putting all these electronics on your old truck, your old car, whatever it is. You got to make sure your uh, electronics can handle it and it's set up for it. Um, so with a 105 amp alternator, I should be good. If not, I'll bump it up again to 140. Uh, I'm going to stick with the V-Bell drive because that's what I got down here. They do sell the serpentine style, um, but I don't really want to open that can of worms, honestly. Uh, I think it's a CS130 I got coming, if that's the right nomenclature. Yeah, should we make 105? No problem. And also to run all this, you got to run the computer, you got to run your fuel pump, you got to run your um, coil for your, uh, what you call it, the hyper spark. You got to run that. There's a lot of stuff you got to run. So Hank was a very basic old school truck. So now we're making him into like a little bit moderate old school truck because we're still using a blower. I still got a bunch of stuff left to do, um, but we're making progress. And right now, like I said, it's August 21st. I'm thinking maybe in about a month, I'll be doing the install. I'm working out a lot of little bugs on Hank right now, making sure that's prepped and a good foundation to throw this thing in. So give me a little bit more time. I know some of you are anxious for that install video. Give me a little more time and I'll get her in there. All right, y'all, that's it. That's how you get boost on a budget. You know, it's not always dirt cheap. You're not going to get boost for a hundred bucks, but if you take your time, you can get it done. So if you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, get out there, dive in your next project. Catch you next time.